second half, you had you down 21 7. And what was the attitude? Um, you know, our attitude was good going into halftime, and we knew we just had to get things going in the second half. Um, you know, we just wanted to keep it going and start making plays. Is it the play on fourth down, the 60 yard run? What happened there? Can you kind of go through it as you saw it? Um, if I remember, I think the linebacker just blitzed maybe up the middle and. Uh, you know, I just kind of got the ball and, and read the line and bounced it uh, through the, the back side. And then, you know, all I saw was daylight, so I just ran. Give any Stanford flashbacks on that run? Uh, no, nah, not really. No, nah. I was just, you know, trying to get the first down initially. And then I saw that there was daylight. So after that, you know, I just had to get, get on my horses. Just since then, though, the game was just kind of up for grabs. I mean, as you guys score on the fourth down and back in it. Um, you know, I feel like we did good. You know, credit to Oregon, they're a really good team. And you know, we had a few mistakes uh, here and there. And, you know, unfortunately, you can't, you know, have those mistakes against a, good, a team like Oregon. Did they get a helmet right on the ball when you fumbled Bishop? Uh, I can't recall. I got to watch the film. Uh, you know, I just remember trying to get to the outside and, you know, got hit. And then the next thing, the, the ball was on the ground and they was corralling around it. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to watch it on the film. How important is it? Arizona State game come down? I think it's really important. You know, Coach Sark has preached next game. You know, each and every next game is the most important one on our schedule as far as we're concerned. And, uh, we're just, you know, going to go back to the drawing board and fix the things that we need to work on and, um, you know, get ready for Arizona State. Do you feel any different about this team uh, after these last two games than you did going into this stretch? Uh, no, not at all. You know, we know we're a good team. And, Again, Oregon's a good team, and you know we're just gonna build off the things that we did well, and try to correct the things that we didn't do well, and uh, get as well as prepared for Arizona State, Arizona State as we can. What is it about this team you think you're still a good team? You um, know, as Coach Sark said, you know, after uh, you know, we feel like we went toe to toe with them for uh, three and a half quarters, and you know, get just the little things, little mistakes that they capitalized on, and you know, you can't have those against a team like Oregon. You guys did make some progress on, on, in terms of yardage and scores, but is Oregon's defense different than any you've seen before? Um, they're just really athletic, really fast, play well in space. and So, you know, as a running back, you just gotta, once you see the hole, you got to hit it as, and get upfield as fast as you can before those guys uh, start coming around. How would you say the team is in the locker room? You know, everybody's hurt right now just because we lost. You know, we wanted to win this game bad. and um, So, you know, Coach Sark has to think 24 hours, you know, we're allowed to kind of dwell on it. But, you know, coming back in tomorrow, it's, it's go time again. We're back uh, back to the drawing board. Sorry, Bishop, I, I joined kind of late here. I just, I guess, talk about how you guys did offensively. You started out, uh, you know, I guess knowing you had to score a lot, and you, and you were keeping up with them there in the first half, at, at least, there at the first three quarters. Uh, yeah, um, you know, again, Oregon's a good team, and, you know, we were scoring toe-to-toe -to -toe when we felt like we played toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, and, uh, you know, we had a few mistakes, and they capitalized off it, and you can't do that against, you know, a team like Oregon.